Well, last year we began the Tips from Former Smokers campaign where we ran for 12 weeks uh, real stories uh, told by real people who had quit smoking, but most of whom had quit smoking after developing serious complications and disabilities from smoking. And the importance of this campaign is that we know that we at CDC are great at creating statistics about smoking. But for most people, the statistics need to come alive with real stories. So each of these people tells their story, their real story, and this helps to motivate smokers. We know it helps to motivate smokers because hundreds of thousands of people uh, called to get help after seeing these ads last year. This year we have eight new people, uh, Americans that stepped up to the plate to do something uh, to try to help people that smoke quit. And we have Bill, who's a 40-year-old diabetic who also smoked and at a very young age, because of this, lost one of his legs, he lost uh, vision in one of his eyes, he lost use of his kidneys, and had uh, open heart surgery, all from smoking, mixing smoking with diabetes. And we really wanted to get this message out because many diabetics are not aware that this is a horrible combination. We've also got Michael, from, uh, who's a, a member of the Klingit tribe in Alaska and a U.S. Army veteran who developed chronic obstructive pulmonary disease after years of smoking. And he tells the story about how, despite getting lung reduction surgery, he is now faced with the, his mortality, that he, he's probably going to die in a few years, he's been told. And he's trying to work about his grandson, who is going to lose his wisdom and lose his love and how hard it is to come to terms with that. We also have uh, Tiffany, who is uh, the daughter of uh, her mother who smoked, and she uh, tells the story of how difficult it was losing her mother at 16, but how that inspired her when her daughter turned 16 to quit. One of the great things that happened in this campaign that we were not sure would happen is that literally millions of non-smokers who saw these ads were inspired to talk to the people that they cared about about their smoking in a supportive fashion. It is very, very important that we realize that smoking does not just affect the smoker. It also affects loved ones, uh, other members of the community in many different ways. So it's very important when talking to somebody that we love who smokes to be clear that we would like them to, s to stop, we hope them they will stop, we know it's their decision ultimately to quit, but to explain how because we love them we want them to quit. That they, we don't want them to lose the 10 years of life that on average a smoker loses. I decided to quit smoking when I realized that my daughter was turning 16 and uh, I made the connection that I had lost my mother when I was 16 because she was a cigarette smoker that had acquired lung cancer. And uh, I did not want to put my daughter in the same position that I was in at the age of 16, um, having to go on with life without a mother present. My advice is that I want people to know that I understand that it is a very difficult thing to stop doing. It's addictive and uh, everyone's situation is different. I would advise individuals to find out what's going to work best for them and their lifestyle to quit smoking and uh, good resources for people that want to quit.